Hello guys, I got this uh, 2015 Chevy Impala. We have a problem on the front left uh, ABS sensor. It's keep dropping down. I took the car for a test drive and uh, sure enough, uh, every once in a while it drops the signal. It's not one of those where, you know, common problem where at the low speed the amplitude is low and activates the ABS. This is more like when it goes over the bump. Uh, when I go out of the uh, my driver, there's a little drop up, maybe an inch or two. Every time I go over the bump, it it uh, makes a glitch. And uh, so right now I have my uh, left front and right front signal on my on my scope on my on my various scan tool. And uh, when I I'm gonna wiggle it, you can see that's the uh, Oh, it seems the it's ABS. It's uh, let's see. I'm gonna keep wiggling. Sometimes it's more, sometimes it's less. There you go. The problem is I c cannot pinpoint where the uh, where the problem is. Like if I do it here, if I stress it here, I'm having the uh, dropouts. And uh, when I kind of move the harness, we have a dropout as well. So, there we go. I'm on a harness right now and it has a dropout. It's kind of, so it's not a sensor problem, it's somewhere around here I have a problem. So, what I'm going to do next, I always save these. Uh, Connectors like uh, sensors and harness when I when I work on ABS systems. So right now I have my graphing multimeter hooked up to this adapter here, and uh, so I'm gonna unplug the sensor and then plug it into the uh, harness side. And uh, so don't don't toss these connectors. They're really handy actually. So right now I'm just gonna connect it, and uh, we have 4.8 volts. It's a steady voltage of 4.8. Okay, so now I'm going to start. See that as soon as I touch the wire here, it drops the voltage. So right there, as soon as I touch it, it drops the voltage. Okay, so I'm going to go further away. It just keeps glitching on me. And uh, so right here, when I pinch the harness, and it's like I don't know, maybe four or five inches from the connector, it's fine. But as I'm getting closer to the connector, pinch, 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 right there. Just keep dropping on me, right there. So I'm gonna open up this harness and see, see if I can kind of get both of these in a shot. So when I'm pressing here. Right there. It's the dropping on me. Okay. All right. But the problem is pretty much the whole way from that point up to this connector. It's it's dropping, and then when I stress connector, it's dropping as well. Actually, not as much. Even in connector, it's not it's not dropping. So. The connectors seem to be okay, but right in the in, the, in this harness, so even here, it's causing a problem. Really hard to pinpoint where the wire has an issue. And it's this whole this whole way up to here. Here is okay. As soon as I get a little bit closer to the connector, it stops dropping on me. All right, so I'm going to open up this uh, this wire. So this, every time I pinch anywhere along this wire, it's dropping the signal on me. I have to change all this wiring. Huh. Okay. So I peel this harness off. Everything looks pretty good. I did it. Tug test that kind of 
keep pulling it, see if anything is going to get separated on me, nothing. But right now I don't have voltage at all. I cycled the key again, uh, but the voltage did not come back anymore. So not every ABS system has this voltage. I think the digital sensors do. Uh, but right now I do not have my voltage. So I'm not sure if I'm losing, if I lost the ground or the feed. I'm going to disconnect one of these wires. Okay, so now on my, uh, I disconnected my pick the connector and um, I'm just using my piercing probe and I'm on top of this uh, female connector and uh, so I'm on a blue wire and I have my other lead to non-go ground over here and I have my voltage back 3.4, 3.9 volts so uh, if I do a wiggle test it's okay it's a little bit of drop out here but not much but it's all way I'm not having issues with the blue wire so it seems like we have lost yellow wire the ground something happened to that so I need to find it so I'm on the um, passenger side now and uh, I disconnect the uh, sensor from uh, from that side I have my test light connected to the battery positive I got my uh, extension cord it's uh, connected to the battery up here actually to the uh, power box and when I touch this side here you see it's light up so that's my ground and that's what I think that's missing now on my driver's side one that I have a problem uh, so this yellow wire should be ground <coughs> so let's touch that wire see if it light up or not it does not so now we need to find out where this wire is broken so this is definitely the blue blue wire it's one that's a power the yellow wire is ground and uh, I'm just touching I'm not I'm not gonna damage this connector, but you can see it's not it's not lighting up. So now I need to unfortunately pierce the wiring until I get to the good ground, and I just cannot. Do it. I cannot find the where the wire is broken. All right, I have to do some more digging. All right, so I got my piercing probe, uh, I don't know, maybe 10 inches or so from the connector, and I have a ground there. So from this point down to the connector, my yellow wire is broken somewhere. around here as well. Hmm. I guess it's close to the connector. If I touch the connector itself, you know, right there, I don't have a ground. Maybe it's my connector after all. So here, I don't have a, I don't have a ground, so I cannot pinpoint where is it could be here actually this looks soft yeah there you go right there there it is okay we got it yeah yeah there you go there it is cool man what a nightmare okay well uh, let's go repair the wire seal all these holes and they should be fixed <laughs> okay okay repair is done i uh sealed all these places where i pierced the uh, wire with a uh, liquid tape, got it here, got one here, and then here's a repair. And uh, just gonna let it dry, and then we will uh, repeat the test with a graphic multimeter. Do the wiggle test again to make sure that dropouts are not gonna come back anymore, and uh, this should be fixed.
The cause we had was a C0035 left front wheel speed sensor circuit fault, and now that's in the memory. I got a connect. I got a, a sensor connected back on the harness. We got no codes. That, that was a, a history code. On. And then let's go ahead and uh, pull those uh, sensors up. I'm just actually gonna put uh, put uh, the left front, and then we will. Uh, do a wiggle mm -hmm. here to make sure that we don't have any dropouts with the connector. This looks pretty good. So I'm now wiggling here. Let's get there. Let's wiggle the uh, wire. Looks pretty good. And of course, I mean, this is my. At first, I thought my connector was bad, but it's not. It was a broken wire. I'm just gonna. Okay, I'm stressing the connector just to make sure we don't have like a double problem and there are no dropouts whatsoever. And we are on the left left front wheel speed sensor. And uh, that will conclude this one. We're going to take it for a test drive, but this is fixed. No problem at all. No, no, no question about it. So I'm not, I'm not sure if there's like a TSDs for these. Uh, I think I've seen somebody working on these. Uh, um, Maybe where this uh, bracket holds to the lower control arm, sometimes the wire can get damaged. But this was more like a literally like a couple of inches from the uh, connector itself. So I'm not sure is that is this common place where the wire is damaged or not. But uh, of course, uh, so kind of was right there. So. And, you know, when the wheel turns left and right, you know, it kind of stresses this wire and causes a problem. And uh, when I took the car for test ride the first time, I could, uh, and it's very common on GMs, you know, to, uh, when you have like the corrosion on, on the wheel speed sensor or uh, the sensor itself is bad at a slow, a low speed, uh, it's not making a good frequency and then it's dropping down and the computer activates the ABS system and whatnot but I actually purposely drove this car like a four miles an hour just slowly moving down the road and uh, I did have signals on this front left sensor so I said well this is not the common issue that we'll be dealing with most of the time there's something else. Alright let's take it for a test drive everything is buttoned up and uh, right at the end of my short driveway there's a little bump Every time I went over that bump, it, it had a glitch. So the front left, where we are, so here we go. There you go, that's good. You can see that, that little bump, every time I go over that, it would, it would glitch my signal. Again. Perfect. Take it to around the neighborhood real quick and this should be fixed. So far no ABS light. And uh, yeah, those uh, little connectors, like when you uh, have a bad ABS sensor and uh, you, know, you get new one, just cut those connectors off and make yourself a little test, uh, you know, like a testing uh, harness that you can actually plug it in into your left scope or your but it's much easier to uh, plug that into your harness when you already have a nice connector that's going to fit into it. And uh, I got a whole bunch of those and uh, they really, really come handy. It's much easier than uh, using a, uh, you know, back probes or whatever. Now, it's, I, I did have to uh, use it at some point, as you, as you can see, there's some bumps here. Still, everything's good. Uh, I still had to then once I once I lost my voltage after I after I uh, wiggled the wire at some point I completely lost my voltage then I 
had to figure out what circuit I'm having problems on then I of course did disconnect that adapter and uh, went to separate with uh, circuits through with my with my uh, with my pins but uh, yeah this was a uh, this is a good repair I'm pretty happy I, just, I, 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 I don't know why once, once I figure out that you know I'm missing a ground on that on that harness on that circuit I kept pulling and pulling and pulling I really couldn't feel anything and I said well it's got to be somewhere and uh, but I don't know should be happy all is good all right guys well this will be for this one all right guys I'll see you next time thank you bye bye